They felt a whole lot like fall, and Allison, I gotta tell you, I didn't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. It was gorgeous outside, wasn't it? Finally, by this afternoon, things started to clear up. I mean, this morning was a little bit chilly and a little bit gloomy, but mm -hmm. I mean, things just really turned around by this beautiful. afternoon. It really and truly was. And you know where else it was beautiful? It was beautiful over at the Jenny Wiley State Resort Park. We have a gorgeous photo in from Alan Bowling. So thank you so much for that picture. There really isn't a much better way to spend a Sunday than a Sunday on the lake. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the weather maps and we can see that things are looking nice and dry out there. No rain on the radar, so that's some good news there. And we are going to stay this way because we do have a high pressure system that's essentially just going to park itself over the Ohio Valley and that's going to allow for us to clear right on out for the rest of the week. And temperatures right now are on the low side. We are looking at temperatures in the mid 50s. We got a nice uh, triple pair, <laughs> we've got a set of 55s all across the board there from London all the way up to Paintsville. 48 degrees over in Wise right now, so it's a little bit colder in Wise. And we are going to see similar temperatures throughout the rest of the night, but we are cooling down even more by the morning. Now temperatures tomorrow afternoon topping out in the mid to lower 70s, so it will be a bit of a milder afternoon tomorrow afternoon. But I tell you what, it's going to be gorgeous. The sun is going to be out all day long and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and a wonderful day to be outside. So if you have the chance to take a lunch outside, I certainly advise you to do so because it's going to feel great. Temperatures average, I would say, right around 73 degrees. Now for the rest of the night, we are staying nice and clear. We are expecting to see some fog coming into the forecast tonight and as and possibly even tomorrow morning. And our temperatures tomorrow morning are going to be in the lower 40s. We're looking at temperatures right around 43 degrees for our low for the morning. So it will be chilly and it will be foggy. So keep that in mind as you're heading out the door tomorrow morning. And then by the afternoon, temperatures will top out in the lower 70s. So it's going to be a rather mild afternoon tomorrow and a gorgeous afternoon. The sun is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Now Tuesday morning, we are looking at a little bit of a warmer morning, but we could still hang out in the 40s by the morning on Tuesday. And then from there, temperatures will rise up to the 80s, but yet again, another Gorgeous day. Nothing but sunshine on Tuesday. We are just going to see plenty of sunshine for the next couple of days. Now, we are looking at the fog issue in the morning, so keep that in mind. And it's going to be a little bit chilly in the morning as well, so keep that in mind when you're heading out the door for your Monday morning. And then from there, temperatures are going to increase to the lower 70s, and our skies are going to be nice and gorgeous and clear. By, I would say the fog will clear by around 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, and then our skies are going to be gorgeous and clear. And it's going to be another nice night tomorrow night as well. And we are looking at temperatures in the lower 60s by tomorrow night, right around when the sun's going to set. I believe the sun's going to set right around 745 again, much like it did tonight. Now, our seven-day forecast, you can see there we have nothing but gorgeous conditions on the way for us here in eastern Kentucky for the next week. Temperatures in the lower 80s for most of the days starting on Wednesday, and then our skies are going to remain nice and sunny. Lows in the 50s. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous weather coming up. We might see a little bit of an increase in our cloud cover starting on Friday as a cold front continues to progress towards the Commonwealth. And then, unfortunately, that does bring us rain chances just in time for the weekend and just in time for the Black Gold Festival. So if you're planning on heading out to the festival, you might need to take a raincoat. But honestly, it's too soon to tell. This front could either speed up or slow down, which would either cause it to hang on until Saturday night, which so it wouldn't be too much of an issue during the day. But we are expecting to see some rain chances starting as soon as Saturday afternoon, and then lingering showers hanging around for your Sunday afternoon as well. But temperatures, it will be on the warmer side by this weekend too. Well, and at least we know a Thursday looks beautiful for the start of the festival. Exactly. So we can only hope it will continue. <laughs> exactly. We are, we'll get off to a great start for the festival. Definitely. Thank you so much, Allison. No problem. Still to come next in sports. After 22 consecutive road losses, the Kentucky Wildcats are flying home winners to Lexington. The football Cats win an SEC road game for the first time since 2009. Here from a fired up Mark Stoops.